And lately my mind has been overflowing with creative ideas and I have decided that I would like to try to make a pillbox hat. To do this, I have taken out some leftover fabric from the last sewing project and I bought some felt to make the hat stiff. So let's just get started. I start out with this stiff felt fabric to make the shape of the hat and make it stay stable. The first thing I do is to take a pen and mark out how wide I want the hat sides to be. Use a ruler to make it get even, even though you can see I didn't do it here. <laughs> Since I'm not good at making circles, I use a plate to get the round shape of the top of the hat. Here you can see all the things you need to make the skeleton for the hat. Now we cut out the pieces. Use a sharp a scissor because this part was really hard with mine and mine has never been used before so a sharp scissor is a good idea. I pinned together all of the parts to see how the hat would look. This is now the shape of the hat I would not recommend a grey carpet because these needles are everywhere. I tried on the hat to see how it fit. It was a bit big so I made this dot all around in one centimeter and then cut it out to get a little smaller shape. I used my field circle to draw the shape of the hat on the fabric then I used my ruler to add an extra one and a half centimeter seam allowance. Then I cut out this shape from the fabric. I used my measuring tape to get the length of the side pieces. Then I measure it up on the fabric and left some extra room for seam allowance around all the edges. After that you're left with two pieces, one for the side and one for the top. I pinned both of them together and then I went to my sewing machine to sew it together. This last part was a bit tricky, so just make sure that the seam it goes all the way around and there's no hole. To connect the field pieces, I used my hot glue gun and just glued it together like this. Here you can see the result and this is now the skeleton for the hat. Then I put the fabric over to see how good it fits and it looks just like I imagined. Then I made a duplicate of the fabric pattern and put on the inside. It wasn't really pretty but I just glued it in there. Then I fold over the corners and secured them with pins. Then I secured it with hand stitches. I just want to do a fast wrap up about how this project turned out and I have to say it turned out just the way I imagined it would be. It's a pillow hat. <laughs> Not really fancy but it's a pillow hat that I can use with my vintage outfits. And to start with what I am happy about, I'm really happy about the fact that this cross came in the middle of the hat and I'm really happy about the sides of the fabric that you can't even see the seam uh, and that the fabric was really good for this project. Now on the other side it is a bit bulky uh, around the edges and that may be because of the way I glued it together made it a bit bulky uh, I'm also not so happy about the inside um, it could be better if I have just made this fit the inside a little better that's because of my sewing but I think this project has potential and it's possible to do it in another way 
And you will also find a way to use some leftover fabric from the sewing of this dress, which I was thinking about doing anyways. So, and I always do get a lot of leftover fabrics. I would really love some ideas on how to use our leftover fabric for other projects because <laughs> we always get a lot of rest of the fabrics from my sewing projects. It's also the fact that I always forget that I do not look good in hats. Maybe if I put my hair in a hairnet and fluff up, fluff this up a bit more than it is now, it may probably look better, but <laughs> now it's not so good and it's not because of the hat, it's because of my head and maybe also something to make it stay a bit better on my hat like glue a cam or something inside the hat so it stays there and do not go off my head but yeah it, this was a fun experience I will definitely try it again I believe one can fix it in other ways, I just put a bow here. I think you can have embroideries or other details on it if you would, would like to do that to spice it up a bit. Maybe I will just need to try to look a bit better in hats. Hopefully some of you can enjoy this. Some of you maybe <laughs> know that you look better than me in hats or any other ideas on how to use materials you have in your home to make some other vintage looking details for your outfit because I think I need more more of that in my closet more vintage stuff <laughs> to have beside my outfits but for now yeah, I really love this hat, even though I don't look good in hats. I'm really happy about this project. And so, please tell me what you know and if you like this video or not. Uh, it was fun trying to make something. 